Hello, welcome back to Amaryllis Art. I'm your host, Amaryllis. Today, I'll tell you about my experiences working in IT. Before I quit to pursue full-time art, I worked in the tech industry for about five years, starting out as a level one technician and working my way up to becoming an engineer. Let's dive into what it was like to work in IT. Everyone expects you to be a genius. One of the things I ran into the most was everyone expecting me to know everything and how to fix anything. When I first started working as a tech, everyone was pretty easy on me for the first three months, but after that, everyone expected me to know everything about their specific problems. When you work as a low-level tech, your knowledge is pretty broad and shallow. You learn how to change the BIOS, how to power cycle a motherboard, and how to do some basic troubleshooting. If you're lucky, your trainer will tell you what all the different components are on a motherboard. Most of the time, I could fix the problem on a motherboard by power cycling, or powering the board off and on again. The joke, hello IT, have you tried turning it off and on again, isn't that far off, to be perfectly frank. But when that doesn't work, it becomes a desperate scramble to find out what's wrong with the board. Most problems that I came across had easy fixes. Unfortunately, knowing how to fix the problems involves having already seen the problem before. I didn't always have the experience to recognize a problem, so I got a lot of flack for not being able to instantly fix someone's board. Everyone is in a huge rush. When you're in tech, everyone is on a deadline and generally already behind schedule. What that means is that you're always under a huge amount of stress, whether you're a technician or an engineer. When I was a technician, engineers frequently took out their stress on the other techs and me. Since I'm already an anxious and stressed person, I had to take a lot of bathroom breaks where I may or may not have cried my eyes out before getting back to work. Every company is pushing to be the leader in the industry, trying to stay ahead of the competition. What that ends up meaning is that every single employee has tight deadlines and huge responsibilities. So it's always rush, rush, rush. Why isn't this fixed yet? I thought you said you were almost done with this. It's so stressful. I think some people might thrive off the stress. Either that or everyone is just in it for the money because, oh baby, tech pays great. Everyone makes hella dough. One of the upsides of working in tech is that the pay is fantastic. You can afford an apartment, fine dining, and nerd toys. I made 15 US dollars per hour when I first started working as a technician and 26 US dollars per hour as an entry level engineer. If you're planning on getting into IT in tech and are pursuing a degree in comp sci right now, be assured that you will be able to pay off your college debts. If you can put up with the stress of tech, you will be well rewarded. Closing remarks. Working in IT isn't particularly glamorous or fun. Whenever I told people I worked in tech, they were always super impressed and thought I was a genius, even though 80% of my job was flipping power switches. If you're hoping to get into tech, I don't want to discourage you, but you should be prepared for what it's really like. Maybe being a genius on a deadline is your thing. Maybe making that cash is your thing. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video enlightening. Please consider giving me a like and subscribe. If you want to give me a tip, check out my Ko-fi. If you want to support me as I make more videos like this, check out my Patreon. If you liked what I drew this episode, you can see more of my work at amaryllisart.com. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time!